We're going to try so, magnetizing it using the same two spark plugs and well, see if it's also going to check this too. Oh, okay. This, All right. Because this is actually All right. know, putting okay. the thing really to a test. Okay. If I can hardly jump a spark. Okay. Here. That's what it takes. That's the kind of gap we have to have right. in order to get spark. Right. All right. Much more than that. And, and on it, these it, spark it, plugs, we got two spark plugs with a huge gap. It, with a huge gap, and, and it's it, jumping it, those. Right. Okay. Now we're going to put it on the Stevens magnetizer. Uh, we're testing the polarity, so we know which way to to. Uh, so that must be south, right there. Yeah. Now switch it to there. Now it's north. Okay. So this is the south side. Right. Even though it says on the magneto, in. Well, <laughs> whatever. Right, whatever. But that's, we're following the directions right. in the Stevens yeah. book. It says, let me read the directions. Uh, Determine the polarity of the magnet with a compass. If it is not already known, north seeking pole of compass points to the south pole of magnet. Okay. Put the polarity switch A right here uh, in in position N and place the magnet with the north pole on the pole shoe number two. Pole shoe number two is this one right here. Right. Is and it's labeled. I've got it labeled as number two. So we don't have much choice. So we have to put, well, we can reverse it if we have to, but can you put that on number two? So according to the compass, Okay, this is... Which one did we say was north according to the compass? The one that says this, this that one. one right there. Right. So that would be right. You put it on this one right here. Put right. it on there yeah. and you should be good. This Stevens, uh, this Stevens magnetizer has had all the uh, rectifiers that it replaced with solid state rectifiers. So it actually puts more juice into them. Okay. And we're hooking this up like this one right here. Okay. Pole for number two. We've got the north. We've got the right pole. And we've got the switch on north. One. Okay. One is north. Okay. The pull up on it when you're done. Okay. So now we're ready to, to depress the switch. Okay. Now pull up on the. There you go. Good. Okay. Now we're Now we're charged. Yeah. According to Stevens. Now let's see what it does. We're going to open the gap a little bit on his uh, original test equipment. Well, first we're going to see if we made it worse. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, it looks good. Okay. okay. So now, now we're going to open the gap just a little bit and see if we've got an improvement. I heard something. I thought I heard something click. No, no, no change. It's no, just the points no opening. Change. No change. So charging the magnets didn't seem to have any effect whatsoever. And you hadn't charged this magnet since you've had this flywheel arrangement. I've never charged any okay. ever. All right. All right. right. So charging the magnets is kind of. One of those myths. I don't know. It started to sit heavy in the Johnson manual. They talk yeah. about charging the magnets all the time, but I don't see that. I think maybe. So this is just one open. One. And that's one that plug, and the other one really rounded out. So it okay, still has a nice strong spark. We didn't make it worse. Right. We didn't make it worse. So <laughs> let's check the two plugs together. Oh yeah. All right. See how that works. Sure. So now we're sparking two plugs instead of just one. Right, which is what we did before. change. Well, wait a minute. Spin it over a little. Boy, that's, is that working a little bit better slowly? Maybe. I think it actually is. No, about the same. Yeah. About the same. Yeah, okay. Do that one more. Give me one more spark, okay, so we can see it. All right, good. No, it's about the same. Yeah. Yeah, okay.
again. Okay. Um, can you take the flywheel off? I want to take a look at something in here. I want to talk about one more thing. Yeah. This little baby right here, the article did not talk about the condenser. But from what I read in all the old service manuals and stuff, the condenser has two jobs that it does, at least two. One of which is to prevent the points from burning, but the most important job is that it cuts off the current and makes the change very abrupt, the change from north-south and the uh, in the magnets whirling and the it doesn't allow the points to arc so to prolong that 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 abrupt change but it also stores the energy from that change when you've got the current induced to the prime the secondaries it stores the current and then re releases it in a controlled fashion several times and the article showed a picture of what the condenser is doing but the, he did not talk about it but uh, yeah. 19.3 shows the condenser uh, discharging positively and negatively uh, to make the spark and the spark is made up of many jumps not just one. All right, that's what I learned from that article the, the big breakthrough for me is that ringing that uh, like a Bell. Yeah, yes, right. right. Yeah, which yeah. is really interesting, by the way. And uh, this condenser is, a, is an old one, an original one. I did test this uh, magneto with a, a new condenser, and I found no, no difference. Uh, so you think that condenser it, right there is good? It must be okay, yeah, okay. although I never tested it, yeah. so it seems to work very well, though. Right. Okay, very good.